Tonight, new information on the deadly shooting of a young mother outside of an Irmo Kroger. Our Andrew Fancher spoke with the husband of Alexandria Boris and reports from where she was killed. Tyler Boris respectfully declined an interview, but what he did say was that his 26 year old wife took her last breath in this parking lot. It happened on Valentine's Day, less than a week after her brother died from a gunshot wound. It's really sad. She didn't deserve to die for that. Alexandria Boris's friend, Sonny, says Boris called her her work mom. She says she was heartbroken to hear about her friend's death. The two last spoke the morning of. Boris's husband tells WIS she was shopping in Kroger with her sister-in-law, niece, and nephew on Tuesday. After packing groceries in the car shortly before 4 o'clock, investigators say an argument broke out in the parking lot. The Irmo Police Department says 23-year-old Christina Harrison pulled out a gun and shot Boris once in the head. Harrison surrendered to Irmo PD before Boris was even pronounced dead on scene. Sonny says that Boris's brother died just six days earlier. And she, you know, messaged me and was like, I just really need a hug from you, mama. And I wasn't able to meet her. And I was actually supposed to meet her on Valentine's Day to give her the stuff that I made for her. So she texted me that morning and um, I had never heard anything back. And we obviously know the reason why. Sunny worked with Boris at a doctor's office in Columbia for several years. She was a cosmetologist considering a degree in nursing. And it's just really sad that you took away a mom, a sister, a daughter, a wife, or a, something so senseless. Sunny says her heart goes out to Boris's parents because now they have to coordinate a funeral for two children. Reporting in Irmo, Andrew Fancher, WIS News 10. Harrison is charged with murder, unlawful carrying of a pistol, and possession of a firearm during a violent crime. Lexington County Bond Court says Harrison was supposed to appear yesterday, but her attorney waived the hearing.